guys in this video we will be learning numpy searching array in python we will see what is numpy dot aware function i am using editor pycharm and python version 3.12 is installed on my machine you can search an array for a certain value and return the indexes that get a match in order to use numpy dot where function before we have to install numpy library to install numpy library we have to type in one command pip install numpy either on command prompt or you can type this command on pycharm terminal windows okay numpy library is installed on your computer you can import numpy here we have to search an element in numpy array so numpy dot where function which returns us the indexes or indices which are matched with certain condition for example i'm going to create a simple numpy array here we will be defining some elements then we have to take result new variable name we have to use np dot where function you could see and then here we have to pass condition if you see the condition that is i table array one should match this condition that will return us the numpy array again we wanted to get the type of this array and then we will be printing the output from this array okay let's say in the program so you are getting this is a triple type result which we are getting in form of this the array indices which we return that is three and five the four is located on third indices and the fifth okay zero one two three we have and four and five okay so we got two indices from this numpy array if your element is not there in any of the array you will get indices object as a blank okay so here we can easily find our elements on basis of certain condition i have added one more new element so you will get one more indices that is one four six zero one two three four and then five and six okay if you want to satisfy any other condition with help of where function for example if you want to get the even number elements indices so you can easily set your condition if you're in the program so you will get only those elements that is 0 1 then 2 then 4 then 6 and then 7 okay let's see how numpy dot search sorted function works this method performs a binary search in the array and returns the index where the specified value would be inserted to maintain the search order okay let's say we have another array new array we will be taking and you have to take one more variable search sorted function and then you have to pass on your array 2 where you are going to apply the filter and then you want to get the indices of 7 right where 7 is located okay then we will be printing result 1 and even we will be getting the type of this object right if you're in the program so you will get 1 right 1 means 7 is located on the first position 0 and 1 okay if you get 7 here so then you will get different indices that would be 0 okay if you put any element like 9 and you have taken the greater value from 7 here as a first index as a first value and then maybe more than that okay and you are getting more lower values because it works on binary search so i have taken lower values than 7 so your indexes will be changed now if you take it would be 2 because it would be 0 1 and 2 7 will come after 6 so this is 
the sorting first it is checking and then it is getting the next indices okay so this is how it works if you are going to take one more lower element before it so you will get one more increment in this indices which is returning if you're in the program again so you will get three now seven will come on third position zero one two and three so we have one more argument in this method that is side okay if you see the side parameter which actually accepts the value as a string either left or right okay if left the index of the first suitable location found is given if right return the last such index if there is no suitable index right okay so let me make it more simple let me take the initials elements to understand easily eight nine okay side you are taking as right which means it will give you the index is two okay because it is checking from the right zero one two seven is located at second position okay if we make it left so it will check from left right where seven is located it is located at one position right zero and one okay we run the program so your indexes would be changed to two right now seven is located at two zero one two okay if you want to check multiple values with search sorted function you can easily use it let me remove it and i want to search multiple elements even seven and eight i want it to search right i want to get the indices so you will get two and three right zero one two and three okay if you make it nine instead of eight then you will get different indices that is four zero one two three four okay so this is how we can search multiple elements okay that brings us to the end of the today's video we hope you found it informative and engaging don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on all things tech related thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video